one of the beautiful things about a tournament series is you get to see that progression of skill over the course of the ordeal. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan and I am excited to see even more so Richard Petty and the Charger to get going here. How these two teams will continue to improve as we head into the finals. I remember back in the first couple of videos, we were blown away from by times under 21. Now, earlier, I mean later on, we were blown away by times under 20. And today, will we be blown away by a time under 19, or at least that 19.53? Well, I couldn't tell you, but I'm hoping for the best. Richard Petty, again, coming out fast. Charger almost catches up to him at the end, but Richard Petty, 19.71, and we are already close. The starting fastest time gets lower and lower every time. Brett Bodine in the Ford GT40. Brett in the GT40. Now, I mean, we'll be realistic here while we're racing. But the, the speed of the Brett does not match the speed of the Richard Petty. So is the Brett going to beat out the Richard Petty to represent NASCAR in the finals? Probably not. But what is the Brett's job here? The Brett's job is to put other all American cars out of the way to try to at least eliminate a few of them and make it easier on the NASCAR team in the finals. Looks like again we're gonna get a comeback from the Brett as he does just that! 21.68 again a slow time but we've seen so many times in the past few videos the Brett come back in the fifth straight and he does again so there. GT40 in the Impala and that is a big help to the NASCAR team. It gives them more cars to work with it gives them less pressure. You know, it doesn't have to be the Richard Petty versus the whole field of all Americans. And so, good on the Brett for doing his job, playing his role here on the team. GT40 again, and the Impala. Impala falling back. This might be a good win for the All-American team, or their first win, which they could use. It's close here to the end, though. Impala starts to speed up. GT40 barely holding on, but holds on. 21-33. I'm excited to see who might emerge from the Charger team. Charger and the Chrysler 300. And not the Charger team, the All-American team. I got it confused because the first bunch of them were Chargers. Um, this Chrysler here, man. What an odd-looking vehicle. But it's exciting to see who might emerge from there to be the Richard Petty Challenger. The sub-20 racer. Charger here on the near side for NASCAR. Chrysler there on the far side for All-American. Chrysler looking a lot faster right now, but I don't know if he's... I don't know if he's working sub-20 right now. He looks slow and fast at the same time. It's hard for me to explain, but that's how I'm feeling. Here comes the Chrysler around that final turn. Oh, he starts to balk in speed. He loses some lengths out, but he still gets to the end. Two very slow racers. 22.39 for the Chrysler, and not any better for the Charger. Corvette in the Monte Carlo. All-American looks to be below average so far as far as speed goes we'll see how that picks up over the course of these groups corvette looking like he's coming a lot faster putting my words back in my mouth per se and uh based on how he's versing a monte carlo who's usually an overall average racer and this could prove good for the all-american team is it sub 20 though looks like it might be how will that fifth turn look? It's important. He's smooth to that fifth turn. Comes inside quickly. Doesn't seem to lose any speed on it. What's the time in the clock? 20.46. And that's not bad. We've seen the Richard Petty put up 20 and a half times before. And then go right down to 19.53. Well, Impala and Corvette will get going here. It looks like that's a possibility, at least for that previous Corvette. Impala, Corvette. Impala on the near side here. That bright white vehicle, always enjoy seeing him racing. Just stands out against the crowd, that yellow four. And he's about even with that Corvette on the far side. He's more of a darker blue, still with some white in there as well. Rounds that second to last hairpin. And we have the inside one coming up. They're even, this is a close race. Impala on the near side does break away from the hairpin faster and I think he's gonna grab it. And what time do we have? That's a 20.41. I think that might be the best time for this white Impala on the NASCAR team. Again, seeing that progression of improvement. Wonderful. Ford Sierra and the Charger. Charger Sierra. Sierra, whoa. Blasting out of the gate. Three lengths, four lengths, five lengths, six lengths. Let's count them up. 
Man, he is coming out fast, and I am very hopeful for the time on this car. Already, Ford Sierra rounds that second hairpin mm, a little slow, I will admit, but still holding a lot of speed, and the straights have been wonderful. Rounds this one a little bit smoother. Comes out fast, still accelerating, still building speed. The inside hairpin, here we go. And doesn't look bad at all. Is this a sub-20 time? It might be. No, 20.6. Looked a lot faster out there than I thought. But I think it was the hairpins that did him in by those, uh, I'd say, half a second. Not bad times, though. All-American is, is lingering out there with some possible fast racers. On any given day, a racer can cut off a second on his time if he gets off to a good start. Circle tracker in the Corvette. And I think that's possible here for the All-American team, who is overall better at consistency with good times as opposed to those couple of cars who just, you know, blow the field away with bananas. Man, I never thought I'd say that. Blow the field away with bananas. But, uh, I mean, how else do you represent the speed of the Richard Petty and really, actually, the, the GMC Cyclone, who also had similar tendencies in the last one, but just came up short. Corvette way faster than the Circle Tracker here, and he will go 19.77, and we have eyes on a car here in the All-American team. Good time. Good time. No other word for it. Second round. What do we got here? We got Exotics with five, or the All-American team. We got NASCAR with three. Brett Bodine in the Ford GD40. Ford GT40, out by a few lengths. Brett Bodine trying to cut down another Ford again, take pressure off NASCAR, who is down five to three here. Brett Bodine again, not the fastest car, but somehow always manages to come back towards the end. Looks good for the Brett as he comes down towards the finish line. Only a few lengths behind that 4 GD40, all lining up as it's done. All those other races where he's made the comeback, that final turn, and yes, he is coming faster, overtaking the GT40, and what a wonderful racer. I've never seen such a... Uh, based on time, lackluster racer be so strong out on the track. Ford Sierra and the Impala will get going. And honestly, I am genuinely impressed. The Brett Bodie just continues to put vehicles away. Yes, he's not going up against the fastest, but he's getting the job done. Takes pressure off NASCAR, who now has him to put up against someone in the finals, I um, mean the semifinals. Good racing. You gotta commend that sort of performance. Impala, the white Impala on the far side. Here comes the Fort Sierra, breaking up ground quite a bit, but loses it down the final hill. 20.72. Impala tries to push for fast time, and uh, he does get under 21 quite a bit, but can't seem to get down to the 19s. Richard Petty in the Chrysler 300. Chrysler 300 was above 22 last time. Richard Petty, I don't even know if he understands what 22 means. I don't know if that number has ever even crossed over his hood. But, well, I mean, I don't see the Chrysler. I'm looking for him. I'm trying to find the Chrysler. There he is. But I, I don't really see him. He's not in the frame. The Richard Petty, he's going to do what he's going to do. I mean, come on. We wanted to see him in the finals, and we're probably going to. At least he's getting to the semifinals here. 19.39! I can't. <laughs> we might get below 19 today. 19.39. 19.39. And you know what? He did not even have to. He, there was no reason for him to be that fast in this race, but it's just so ingrained into him. Corvette and, um, now Porsche. Or it was labeled Corvette before, and they look exactly the same. But, uh, well. We're going to call it that, the, the, the Aqua Corvette on the far side there, because I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Um, no matter though, I am blown away by the Richard Petty. 19.39, that is by far the best time that we've seen over the course of this endurance tournament, and it doesn't seem to be getting any slower. If we can get under 19, man, that would be wonderful. I would, I would give you all bananas. All right, here we go. Corvette coming across the line, and what is that? A 19.66, and we've got a challenger. We've got a true challenger to the Richard Petty here. As the finals get closer, and we find 
our contenders. NASCAR were three. Brett Bodine again doing a wonderful job. Now giving um, little pressure to the NASCAR team in the semifinals. They know they're going to get one in. There's no problem there. And now, um, well, <laughs> based on the two cars out right now, the Brett Bodine and the Richard Petty are going to be versing each other. But, um, I mean, we almost don't even have to watch that race, if I'm very honest. Okay, White Impala here on the near side. Oh, staying a few lengths close with the Corvette, but still down by a few. And him being about a, a, a 20 and a half racer and the Corvette being a little bit better. The times make sense. He crosses with a 19.8 and he flirts with the top of the 19s, but he cannot seem to get below or towards 19.5, which might prove troublesome when they race for times in the finals. 19.8. Corvette, best time of the day with a 19.66. That car will be a true contender in the finals. On the next semifinal race here, we have the Brett Bodine and the Richard Petty. Richard Petty already blowing the Brett Bodine out of the water with his speed. But the question is here, and, and this is going to prove um, interesting in the finals. The question is, does the Corvette have the speed to match the Petty every time, or does Petty have the energy to put up something like a 19.39 um, over and over again? He crosses this time with a 19.53, matching that old record. And, uh, man, I don't know, I don't know how he's so fast. How is he so fast? And that's gonna be tough to contend with. Corvette's gonna have to bring out all the stops here. Finals. Car with the best time advances to finals. But we're in the finals. So it's the car with the best time wins. Richard Petty in the Corvette. If advances to finals is code for wins, then we're on the same page here. Richard Petty, Corvette. Who's going to put up that first best time? Richard Petty starting to gain a little bit of a lead here by a length. But the Corvette is keeping pace. It's wonderful to see. And he's back on top by a length. Richard Petty is actually behind for the first time in a long time. Corvette barely holding on here. And it's by a wheel length to Richard Petty. Down the fifth turn, into the fifth straight. The Corvette can't keep up, and Richard Petty blows it away again with a 19.33. Blows it away. Which, by the way, by the way, and we can't see the number, but I wish you could, means the Corvette being just behind the Petty there probably picked up a time of about 19.5, which means that it is capable for this car to race even faster than he did before. And so it's possible. 19.33 the time in the table. I can't even believe I've seen a number like that, especially based on how cars looked back then. Corvette is actually holding pace and with a lead coming out of this hairpin. Richard Petty is slow. Corvette crosses with a 19.41 and he's not close enough even though that time is nuts. Bananas, whatever word you want to use. I Unfathomable, really. They come out again, this is the third one. Best time here wins. Best time if someone can sub 19.33 is gonna win. Corvette has to stay in front of the Petty if he has any hope of doing so. He's down a length, down about two lengths. The fourth turn, here we go, and tough on the Corvette. He's gonna have trouble getting back on top. The Richard Petty may put it down right here. Corvette, the final turn. He's down too many lengths, and the Richard Petty crosses with what time? A 19.28, a 19.28. Oh, man. They race him again, maybe it's five. Oh, they're giving him four. They're giving him four races, actually, because they wanted to get even. Usually, they, they're the past times they did three, but they want an even amount of um, times on each lane. That makes sense. They're really pulling out that kind of stop for the finals. Corvette has another chance here. He seems to be faster in this near side. This is it. Can he sub 19.28? Can he do that? I don't think he can. I don't know if anyone can. The Corvette crosses way out ahead. 19.27! And the All-American team wins! 19.27! What? What? That is crazy. I, I actually can't believe this tournament ended in an excitement I could not imagine. All-American team by .01 undercuts the Richard Petty, the uh, seemingly best racer out of nowhere. I can't believe what I just saw, and that will do it for the endurance tournament. What a finish to this one. I can't wait to see what Races and Fun brings for us next, and we will see you next time when that happens.